NVIDIA is going to be shipping out a ton of GPUs very soon, but is it going to be enough? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So an absolutely huge piece of news was just posted online that I know a lot of people have definitely been waiting for, and this is in regards to a bunch of new GPUs that NVIDIA is going to be launching between now and January of 2022. So yeah, we are talking really soon here as we're already well into December. And so what are these GPUs that NVIDIA is going to be launching? Well, as many of you might have guessed, we're talking about the RTX 3090 Ti, the 3070 Ti 16 gigabyte, as well as the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, which is definitely Definitely a weird one, but we'll talk about that later. And the RTX 3050. And I know that with the RTX 3050 and 3070 Ti 16 gigabyte, there's definitely a lot of excitement over those cards because the 3070 16 gigabyte finally gives you enough RAM at what should be a decent price point. And with the RTX 3050, finally another option will be available for people who are looking for a more budget friendly GPU. But many of you might be asking the question is this going to be enough? And are these going to be replacing previous versions such as the RTX 3080? and regular 3070 Ti? Well, before we answer those questions, first let's go ahead and take a look at what video cards had to say on this, as this is where I am getting this information, and it will be linked in the description below, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So according to videocards.com, they say, quote, the first official RTX 3090 Ti document from NVIDIA only lists the on-shelf dates, which is January 27th. And on top of that, later on in the article, they go on to expand on how the RTX 3050 is likely also going to be on January 27th and then the announcement for that is also going to be on January 4th so that's coming up really soon and then moving on they actually had this to say in regards to the RTX 3070 Ti quote furthermore we have also learned that on December 17th Nvidia will be announcing its RTX 3070 Ti 16 gigabyte graphics card this card will be released next year on January 11th to be exact so yeah we're only about a month away from seeing a bunch of new cards shipping out from Nvidia and a lot of these are stuff that people are very excited about. I mean, take a look at the 3090 Ti, and although this is kind of a weird one as it's only going to have, I believe, 256 more shaders than the regular 3090, although it is going to have all the memory on the front side this time and it is going to be running at a slightly higher clock speed, leading to over one terabyte per second of memory bandwidth. Overall, it's not going to have a whole lot more performance, so it's kind of a weird one, but it is going to be the new fastest graphics card, so I know a lot of people are excited about that. Now, with the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, this is definitely a weird one as I haven't really heard any information on the core count or TDP or anything of this graphics card. Uh, it also, I'll mention that the 3090 Ti apparently is going to have a TDP of 450 watts, so you better have a really big power supply if you're trying to get that card. Uh, so, But again, we, we really don't know a whole lot about the 3080 12 gigabyte, but I know a lot of people are excited to get another 12 gigabyte option as the 3080 with 10 gigabytes is cutting it a little bit close for 4K gaming. I know also a lot of people are very excited for that 3070 Ti because like I mentioned earlier, getting 16 gigabytes is going to be way better than getting eight gigabytes, but if you're expecting more performance, don't because it looks like it's gonna have similar specs to the regular 3070 Ti, which means that same 6,144 CUDA cores, and I don't think you're getting any extra memory bandwidth either, but we'll have to wait and see. There is a possibility that they might run slightly higher G6X. And then finally, the RTX 3050. I honestly don't know really anything about this card other than supposedly, according to video cards, it's gonna have eight gigabytes of VRAM. So there you have it. There's all the cards that are gonna be releasing very soon, but is it gonna be enough? Is this actually going to put a dent in the amount of demand that's just absolutely astronomical at this point? Is it going to actually allow some more gamers to get their hands on graphics cards? And honestly, guys, I'm not too sure about that because I think on the one hand, there's a big chance that a lot of these cards are actually going to eat into the current supply uh, that you're seeing from things like a regular 3070 Ti or 3080, and they might actually even just try and push up those price points and sell you on the higher amounts of VRAM, slowly phasing out those old graphics cards, or at least reducing that supply. However, there is a chance that somehow Nvidia may have acquired more of that Samsung 8 nanometer process and so they might have some more chips and so, you know, honestly, I think that at least on the launch of these graphics cards you are going to see a slight bump in the amount of supply available from Nvidia, but in the long term, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference because even if they did get a little bit more supply from Samsung, I expect it's probably not a whole lot more because uh, from the sounds of it, Samsung and TSMC are basically already at their capacity. So if you're expecting this to 
to suddenly solve uh, all the GPU shortages that are going on. Honestly, that's probably not going to happen. And for that to happen, you're going to have to see something like a cryptocurrency crash or at least, uh, you know, cryptocurrency mining going away, as well as a decrease in demand from gamers uh, combined to try and see, uh, you know, reasonable prices once again. So until those two things happen, and especially until you see, you know, cryptocurrency going away, I wouldn't expect to be seeing, you know, GPUs readily available at reasonable prices for at least a little while longer. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think these new graphics cards are going to help the supply and demand issues, or do you think it won't make much of a difference? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.